You get one going, you get it to start making money, and then you multiply this out across multiple different products, multiple different videos, and all of a sudden you built this small little digital product business up to a big business. So I hope you're excited. In this video, I'm gonna share with you one of the easiest digital product businesses that I've seen in a really, really long time. And guys, this is gonna be pretty cool because I'm actually gonna walk you through how to create these digital products and the exact methods that you can use to start selling these. Plus, I'm gonna share with you why I think this is one of the most powerful businesses that you can start this year to build an online business. So without further ado, let's actually dive right into this thing. All right, so I actually wanna walk you through this. So what we're gonna be doing is using a couple of different tools to create some really cool digital products that we can sell, and then how we can get traffic to those offers using a pretty unique shorts method on YouTube mixed with a long form video. And I'm gonna piece this all together. So this is what it looks like. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a simple little playbook digital product. So, you know, think of this as kind of like, like a document, and we'll say that it's, you know, five to seven pages roughly, right? Right, and this is a nice looking document that is what we call playbook. So think of this being something that's very specific that we can teach our customers how to do. For example, one thing that I might create if I'm in the YouTube niche or teaching people how to you know, build a YouTube channel and get views and all that kind of stuff is I might create a playbook on how to create epic thumbnails, right? So I could create that. We're gonna use a tool called ChatGPT, which you've probably heard of, to help us generate a lot of the content that is gonna go in this guide and then what we're going to do is we're going to use canva to create some really cool graphics for this thing you know like a logo and a header with some text in it that's going to go on the top of this playbook to make things look really nice and then we're going to spice up the insides with some images just to really give this thing a good look and make it so that people want to buy and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create really simple shorts videos that send people over to a longer form video on a YouTube channel. And in this video, we're actually going to create a feature section in the description, and I'll cover what that is later, that is going to promote a sales page where people can buy our simple playbook that we have for sale up here. And one of the beautiful things about this model, guys, is once you learn how to do it, you can create multiple of these. So let's say you have five to 10 of these playbooks for sale and you can create multiple videos here that promote these longer form videos that get people clicking over to the sales page. So this is a really scalable business model that you can scale up as you go. You get one going, you get it to start making money, and then you multiply this out across multiple different products, multiple different videos, and all of a sudden you built this small little digital product business up to a big business. So I hope you're excited. So let's actually walk through how to create all the different pieces of this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna head over to ChatGPT and we're gonna start generating some prompts for this playbook digital product that we're gonna create. So in this example, we are using the YouTube niche as the niche that we're gonna create this product on. So I'm gonna come in here to ChatGPT and we're just gonna start workshopping and brainstorming with ChatGPT to come up with some ideas for this playbook that we wanna create. And I'm thinking something along the lines of building a simple playbook for video creators that are on YouTube to create really good thumbnails, right? So I'm gonna start feeding ChatGPT that information and just kind of see what we can come up with here to get started. So I'm gonna type in here, I'm working on creating a really nice guide for YouTube creators to create really good thumbnails for their YouTube channel that get a high click through rate and include the best practices for creating really good thumbnails. Focus this guide on the process of creating really good thumbnails and the elements of a good thumbnail, not so much the software and tools used to create the thumbnails. And guys, this is one of the things that I want you to learn when using AI tools. With AI tools, the, the goal isn't to just type, you know, a one sentence prompt and have this thing build a product for us, right? The goal is to use our knowledge, our information, and tell it exactly the type of output that we want so we can create really unique products that help people, right? So now that I have this initial prompt, now I wanna fine tune it even more, right? So I'm gonna put something in here like, this guide might include different thumbnail frameworks that creators can use for their channel 
for instance, a versus style thumbnail where you compare a before and after. Also, maybe include some guidelines for text on thumbnails and any other relevant tips you see for creating really good thumbnails. So let's have it uh, kick this off and let's see where we're at. Okay, so it's came back with some things in here that we can almost think of like an outline. So creating thumbnails for YouTube is critical for attracting viewers and increasing click-through rates. Here's a comprehensive guide on the process and elements of creating effective YouTube thumbnails, focusing on best practices. So thumbnail elements, high quality imagery. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna copy some of these and we are gonna get a working document going here. So I'm just gonna paste these in and I'm actually gonna grab some grab this thumbnail elements paste this in here and we're just going to grab some of this copy bring all that in and i'm just doing command shift v when i paste this in so it pastes it without the formatting and we're going to start with that i'm going to grab this thumbnail frameworks i'm going to post that in this is a placeholder for now and i'm actually going to say give me a total of 10 thumbnail frameworks and go really in depth on each one on what they are, why they work, and provide some real life examples of what each of them might look like using a variety of niches on YouTube. Okay, so now that it generated this, gives us a whole bunch of stuff to work with here. So I'm just gonna copy this and bring this into our guide here. And then I'm just gonna clean this up. Okay, so now that we have all that cleaned up, I wanna go back over to ChatGPT and just say, please write two to three paragraphs about why using frameworks for thumbnails is so important to creating really good thumbnails. Let's copy this over, let's do this, paste this in, just go through these and clean this up just like this. And I'm actually gonna put YouTube thumbnail frameworks, something like that. And I think we have enough content here. Once we add some images and things like that, and I could go deep on each one of these categories if I wanted to, I think we could focus this entire playbook just around YouTube thumbnail framework. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna do this and that was from our original so we can get rid of that and let's come back to chat gpt and let's just say please help me come up with 10 titles for a playbook about youtube thumbnail frameworks and let's see what it comes up with here so i really like this a playbook for content creators and i'm going to change this around to i'm going to grab that come over here give ourselves some room to work here I'm gonna say a playbook for YouTube creators. So that's gonna be a nice sub headline here. Give ourselves a little more space. And I still haven't found the title I wanna call this thing yet. I mean, we could go simple with just YouTube thumbnail frameworks. Might just title this something like Elite Thumbnails. Like that be the main title of this thing. Center this, let's bold it. And might say thumbnail frameworks for YouTube creators and actually roll something like that and let's center that here actually i'll leave that a playbook for youtube creators kind of breaks things up a little bit and let's start with this so now what i want to do let's come over to canva and let's create a new design and we are going to do 823 by 89 and let's just create a new design here and let's come up with a logo for this product so let's do actually before we do that let's get a nice background color going so let's do something put this on here and since we're going with a YouTube theme, probably do something uh, red and some type of black here, and maybe something like that. And then let's copy this text here and let's add a text to the page. We'll just do a subtitle for now. Let's paste this in. Let's make it a lot smaller. Let's make this all uppercase. Do something like that. Maybe something like that. And then let's see what we can come up with logo wise. I'm just going to do a video icon, search for something here. Let's do something simple at first and see what this looks like. Let's make this white for now. And let's add another text here. It says something like, let's do this big and bold. Let's try something here. Let's make this say elite. I don't know if this will work or not. I'm thinking we do something like this. And this might be just a touch big for the idea I had. 
I was thinking adding another text here it says thumbnails and making this just a little bigger and then spacing it out wide like so and centering that to something like that and maybe we make this a little bit bigger something like that and then all these over to the right and let's maybe make this two tone so let's go back to our elements here let's add another shape and just kind of split it here like that let's position this to the back and then maybe let's make this some type of red Find something we like here, do something like that, nice and dark. And then to make this look a little cooler. Let's duplicate this shape here. Then let's rotate this. So we have something like that. And let's move these two shapes over just a touch. And there we go. So bring this over a little bit more, I'm thinking. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. And let's download this. All right. So now what we will do, we will come over here into our document and we're going to do insert image and we're going to upload that file we just downloaded for the header and let's change these settings here let's just make this in front of text and fix position on the page and let's move this up here and let's stretch this out until it's full width of the page and boom there we go now we got a nice looking document going here so we got elite thumbnails let's make that a touch bigger make it this bigger that not quite that big and let's do something like that and Boom, there we go. Now we got a nice looking guide here. So now what I would do, if I was creating this digital product to sell, obviously I would wanna make this content as good as possible, but what I would actually do is add some visuals to this. So in this example, let's, so this one's showing a before overweight image and an after fit. So we could give them an example of this. So if I did new window here on YouTube, and I'm just gonna type in, man weight loss transformation and let's see if i can find a good thumbnail that represents that i'm trying to find one that really stands out here actually kind of like i like that one so i think what i'll do is i'll grab that and that guys could be a good example of this thumbnail type so if i did insert image upload from computer grab our screenshot put that in i'll actually do an insert break page break here and there we go and I would probably make these be heading twos and bold those, something like that. And then I would go through and update all my other ones to look like that too. And if I wanted to, guys, I could actually go through uh, for each one of these examples, I could give them multiple examples of these types of thumbnails. So I could go through here on our other tab there and find multiple of these that I really like. And fitness transformation, right? Like, let's say I like that one and I copied that. Let's say I like that one and I copied that and that one. With this, guys, I could really build this thing out with a ton of examples that would provide a lot of value to my audience. So, for example, I could come grab each one of those. It's the one we already had. Let's go insert image, upload, grab that one. I have that in there. Insert image, upload, grab that one. Insert image, upload, and grab that one right so i could really go through each one of these and for each of these examples i could get a ton of different images that i could put in here that would be very helpful that would give them a ton of inspiration for their youtube thumbnails which would make this a very valuable guide like for example in this one let's go back to youtube and let's type this one and let's just see what pops up for these thumbnails so i could grab examples of that thumbnail and obviously guys this is just one niche example but you could do similar stuff to what I'm doing in every single niche, All right? So I could go up here, do insert image, upload, grab that most recent one I took, make that kind of the featured section for this first part. And then down in the examples, I could have multiple of them, just like we did in the first one. And guys, I won't continue doing this over and over, but I wanted to show you, you know, how you could really enhance your guide with different graphics. And you could really create custom graphics for these. You know, maybe if I just wanted to create like a graphic that showed a question or curiosity and make like a feature image for it. So for example, if I came into Canva, I can do create a new design here for 1920 by 1080. Let's go, let's go to backgrounds, get some type of gradient going here. Let's see what we got. Let's actually do video editing, pop that up, see what kind of photos we get. See if we can find like a cool shot of a video being edited or something like that. Like a cool studio type look. Maybe we just roll with something simple like this. And then let's do elements. Let's add a shape. Let's do like a white overlay on this. Dial back the opacity on that so you can kind of see what's going on behind it. 
and then add another shape put this at the top something like this and let's change that color let's actually find the exact color from our other document here let's grab this right there let's copy that let's edit this do a custom color paste that in and we could do for example the question or curiosity framework make this all caps pull this make this all caps let's bring it up here and let's make the text white and from our document we just grab this text right here add another text we'll do a subtitle paste that in let's make this so it doesn't go so wide maybe something like that and center this here come back here let's actually copy all of our logo elements let's paste those over here and let's center this and I actually want to grab this color right here, C8000, do custom, boom, let's change those, and then let's change this, that color there, and boom. So instead of grabbing a thumbnail image for each of my featured images, I could do something like this, and for each of these sections, I could do insert image, upload, and bring that in. And that would be kind of like a featured image for each section. And then down here, I would have my example thumbnails. Okay, one more thing we can do to spice up our product is I'm gonna add a new file here. I'm gonna make it a thousand by a thousand. And I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna type in circle frame. Let me see what this one looks like. No border with that one. I'm just gonna say with border. See what I can find here. I want these frames down here. So I'm gonna click this. Just kind of see what we got here. No border on that one. I was hoping to get one with a nice black border if we can find one here. Actually, I think we can use this one to change the border color. So let's do this. Shrink that down just a touch just to make sure the whole thing fits here. Center that. And then I'm gonna go to my uploads and grab a photo of me. If you didn't have a photo of yourself, you'd want to upload one now. And I'm just going to grab this photo and drag it in here. There we go. And now I'm going to change the color of this frame. And I think I'm going to use like a light shade of black, something like that. There we go. And let's do a share download. Let's do a transparent background. And let's download this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our document, go insert image, upload, go to our downloads, grab that file, upload that. And we're going to make this really small, maybe something like that. And just to give it a nice touch, let's go back to Canva here. One more design at a thousand by a thousand. And I just use that size just to make it big and then I can resize it to however I want. But I'm gonna add a title in here and I'm gonna type my name in. And I think what I'll do, see if I can find like a signature font, maybe something like that. Let's see what these look like. Okay, quite a few of those are pretty cool. You can actually go with this one, make it nice and big here, something like that. Center that on the page here, here we go. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shrink this down just a touch. And to make this quick and easy, I'm just gonna take a screenshot of this just to make sure I get all of it. I could use like Photoshop or any other tool to crop this thing how I wanted, but for simplicity, we'll just do a screenshot there. Let's delete this, let's go insert image upload, grab that from my desktop, boom, bring that in shrink that down something like that and now it just gives it a nice touch and it shows that i'm the creator of this document right and then just clean this up a little bit now that we got those in there it kind of push things to different pages so we'll clean this up and there we go now we got that looking good and once i was ready i would just create the name of it so elite thumbnails by william fletcher save it as that and go to file download as PDF and boom we got that downloaded and that PDF we just downloaded is actually what people would get access to when they purchased if I went to my downloads folder and just pull that up you'll see that they get this nice looking PDF that we just created now one thing I would do later on down the line now obviously this is the first product but if this was a future product I would use this bottom section here to promote my other products right so if I had and I'll just do this quick and dirty. And I'm just gonna come into Canva just to give you an example. Obviously these are just templates, but let's say this was another one of my digital products here. You know, I can have that. And let's say this was another one. I could use this PDF to sell some of my other products. So for example, those images that I just took pictures of, if these were my other products, I could insert these in, write something like, if you enjoyed this guide, then you will love my business proposal guide. And then down here, 
get access here. And this can be a link over to the sales page for this digital product. And I know I'm throwing a lot at you guys. This would be for a future product, but I could actually insert a hyperlink to the sales page of that. So for example, if I just go to you know, one of my courses and post it in the link for that there and hit apply, that would now be a hyperlink from this guide that would sell my other guides. And I could add another one right here. And this is how you turn this one cell into multiple sales. Okay, so now we would want to create a simple little sales page that sells this product. And guys, when it comes down to it, a simple five, seven dollar, ten dollar product don't need a ton of sales copy or a fancy sales page. You just need something where people can go to it and buy it. So what we'll do is I'm gonna grab this here and we're gonna come over to Chat GPT and we're gonna say, please help me write the sales page for my digital product titled Elite Thumbnails. Actually, I'll just leave all that in there. Elite Thumbnails, Thumbnail Frameworks for Creators. Just gonna leave it like that. And then I'm gonna say, for this sales page, please write a really enticing headline that targets YouTube creators interested in better results with their thumbnails by increasing their CTR or click-through yo. In this guide, I give my 10 best frameworks for creating high converting YouTube thumbnails. Also write me three to seven enticing bullet points for this sales page and a call to action before the buy button. And let's see what it comes up with. All right, nice and simple. And now we could use any type of cart tool or website tool, whatever you're currently using to build a sales page for this. So I'll quickly do this on my website here just to show you an example. Okay, now my website designer here, I'm just gonna add a new row here. And we're gonna just add a heading. And we're just gonna grab the headline that ChatGPT came up with for us. Obviously, we could customize this however we wanted, but for now, we'll just plug this in. And I'm gonna leave the default font there, but I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna center it and I'm going to increase the size here. Do something like that. And I think what I'll probably do, let's take that out of there and let's edit this. Let's bring this up to something like that. Do that. Then let's duplicate this. Paste that subheadline there. And let's just see what this does here. Let's make this semi bold. And let's bring this size way down. Something like that. Now this. Just want to increase the line height just a little bit. Something like that. Maybe like that. There we go. And let's create just a quick and easy cover for this. And I'm going to create a new design here. Custom size. 1855 by 2400. Let's create that. Come back over and... I'm gonna grab our black color here. I'm just gonna grab that. And for this cover design, I'm gonna add a shape, make it the whole size of the cover here. Customize this, that black color. Let's grab our logo here. Let's copy that. Let's paste that in, make that way bigger. And let's grab all that text. Let's add a text. We'll add a title. We'll bring this down, make this a lot bigger. Center align this. And I think it's something like that. And I'm gonna make this a red color. So I'm gonna grab that color. I'm just using an eyedropper Chrome extension tool to grab these colors. Paste that in, something like that. And just wanna add a few more elements. I wanna keep this super simple for this tutorial. We'd really spend a lot of time on these graphics if we wanted to. And I'm just gonna make that our red color. I think I'm gonna roll with just that for this particular guide. If I wanted to, just to add one more element to it, I could do video editing, graphics, photos. See what we got here. Let's do something like this. Position, let's move it all the way to the back. And then let's just see what this looks like if we change the transparency on this. That doesn't look great just because it gives a hard line right here. I'm gonna undo that. I like that concept, but let's see. Might be too busy for something like this. So let's get rid of that one. Let's try searching for portrait. Let's do orientation vertical here. See what we got. Let's see what this one looks like. That might be pretty cool. Let's take that and make that big. Position backwards all the way back. Now let's make this a little transparent. That actually looks pretty sharp. I may actually have to steal this and make this a real product at some point. So let's uh, let's download this. So we got that downloaded. 
And you could use any tool that you want for this. I'm using eCover Authority just to create a quick graphic for this. So I'm gonna do create and let's upload that file that we just downloaded from Canva. Let's pull that in. So we got that pulled in. So let's just resize this here like so. And now save that and Let's render a mock-up here, we'll make it a PNG, and now let's download that graphic, and boom, now let's go back over to our sales page, and I'm thinking what we'll actually do is, let's change the background of the main header section to a dark black color, so I'm thinking the black that we use here, so let's copy that, we'll add a background color, let's paste that in, boom, let's do that, and then let's change this heading text color to white, and we'll change the text color here to white, and boom, there we go, and I am going to put a margin on top here, let's try 80, yeah, there we go, something like that, and then let's come down here, let's add a new section, we'll do a regular section, we'll make it one wide, let's add an image, click this, let's upload the, our 3D graphic that we just made, let's upload that, let's just change the sizing of this to be smaller, and let's center that on the page, and let's duplicate this headline here let's pull it down here and let's go to the design make it black and let's change that text to say elite thumbnails like that let's add a new element here we'll do a blurb like this and we're going to do an icon we're going to put it to the left here and come here we're going to grab the copy for our first bullet point put that in there i'm going to bump up the line height just a bit and let's bring the text size down to like 10 something like that and let's get rid of that don't really need that and for our icon, let's use an icon. I'm thinking I'll just use a check mark here. And on the design, for the color, I'm just gonna use, use red, shrink that down. There we go. We can duplicate that there. Grab our next bullet point, put that there. Duplicate that again, come here, grab that, put that in there. I'll do one more bullet point here. Copy that one, duplicate that, put that in there. Then come down to the bottom here, we're gonna add one more element. We'll do text, boom, just like that. We'll grab our copy here, paste this in, go to design on that, bump that text size up there. See what this looks like if we center the text here. And let's make this title case. Nope, not feeling that. Let's try doing, there we go. Let's do something like that. And now all we would need to do, add one more element, do a button, and let's do get instant access and let's design this up let's center this use custom styles let's choose a color for this button it can some type of actually that's the button text for the button text we're going to use white and for the button color i want to use some type of green here something more like a teal something like that like that so make our text a little bit bigger maybe add add that button there so when we hover it it pops out let's add some padding to this let's try 50 and 50 actually make that make that a little more let's make this 80 and 80 something like that and boom now if we save this then we'll hit publish here and exit the visual builder here now we have a live sales page for our digital product and obviously you'd want to connect this with your payment processor all that kind of stuff so that when they click this, they could actually buy it. Okay, so now that we have our sales page done, it's time to figure out how we're gonna get traffic into our digital product funnel. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to ChatGPT and we're gonna start generating some shorts ideas that we can use to start getting clicks over to our longer form video, which gets people onto our sales page and buying our products. So now that I have ChatGPT open, let's start typing here. So the ultimate goal is for us to sell our elite thumbnail guide. So what I wanna do is say, help me create a list of YouTube short video ideas for a channel that helps youtubers grow their youtube channels make the ideas around the topics of making clickable titles creating really good thumbnails and how to increase watch time by creating good videos and scripts and let's see what it comes up with here so we got a good list here crafting irresistible titles tips for click worthy video titles thumbnail design secrets create eye-catching thumbnails and let's just start with this first one here let's grab this and say 
Can you help me write a YouTube short script that is less than one minute long on this topic? Let's just see what it comes up with. I have an idea for this anyway, but let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so with this idea, let's actually copy this here. Let's paste this like this. And I just want the script info, so I'm gonna delete that out. And I'm just gonna clean it up here. I'm gonna keep cleaning this up. And I'm just gonna add that call to action there to send people over to our longer form video that's gonna get people buying our digital products. And I'll show you how this works. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to actually record this video script. Now you could use an AI voiceover and do it that way, but I'm actually gonna record it and show you how to do that. So after I get this recorded, I'll see you on the other side. Recorded the audio for our short. I am gonna pull that file into CapCut and we are gonna create this thing. So let's go to the file I created here and let's pull that in. All right, and this is what we got. Hey fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting irresistible titles that get the clicks rolling in? In this video, I'll give you tips. And the idea is to not use the video, but just the audio. So I'm gonna extract the audio. And for now, I'll leave the video, but we probably won't use it. So let's see what we got here. Hey fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go up here to our ratio make this 9 by 16 for a youtube short and let's actually go into canva and let's create a design we'll do youtube shorts see what we can come up with here so let's type in so i'm just going to find try to find some uh stock footage of video editing or an image that we can use so let's see what we got here let's actually filter this and see if we can get vertical to see if I find anything I like here. So let's go with something like this. And let's uh, shorten this down to about eight seconds and let's download this to our computer. And when we actually edit it, we probably won't play it for the entirety of the 8.8 .8 seconds, but we'll at least leave ourselves room to edit it as we see fit. Got a file downloaded, we're gonna open CapCut back up and we're just gonna drag this in and start playing to see what we got here. Hey fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting irresistible titles? So let's... Hey fellow creators, are you ready to unlock... We're going to make a cut right there, so... Just delete that, delete that. And just to make this look a little nicer, let's click on this video file. We'll add a keyframe there. Let's go to like the end of this clip here. Let's add a keyframe there. Let's just change the zoom. See what we're looking at like that. Hey fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting... Okay. Now we need something about crafting titles. So let's go back into Canva and let's just go to elements. Let's do just a square here. It covers the whole thing. I'm thinking like a lighter shade of black, maybe something like that. And let's just put in something like that. Actually, I got an idea here. Let's do this. Then let's do something like that. Let's make these, let's do something like this. Do that. Let's make these white, something like that. Then let's go back and add a text. And we're just gonna write in caps video title. We're gonna pull this up to the top, something like that. I'm gonna change this font to permanent marker to give it that handwritten feel. And I'm gonna center that. And then I'm gonna add one more element, thinking like a thumbs up. And let's just make this like a blue color. Okay, so now let's animate all of this. So let's animate this. I'm trying to find one that I like here. I think we'll do that. And then we'll come up to this text. I'm thinking maybe the typewriter for this one. There we go. Let's do that. And then on the thumbs up, let's do like a pop. So let's download this. Okay, so now that that's downloaded, let's pull that into CapCut. And let's see just what we're working with here. Hey fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting irresistible type? So let's just get that lined up. Irresistible type to crafting, crafting. So let's bring, start that there. Let's extend that out. Are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting irresistible titles that get the clicks roll? That get the clicks. So we'll, irresistible titles that get the. So we'll leave that like that. Let's do an animation on this piece. Let's do a combo. 
Hey, fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret? Hey, fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret? Actually, like that. So let's see what this looks hey, like. Hey, fellow creators, are you ready to unlock the secret to crafting irresistible titles that get the clicks rolling in? And let's go back to Canva and let's create like a click animation. Let's duplicate this. Let's do mouse cursor click. And let's actually make this white and let's animate this. And let's actually do this. Let's do a create animation. We're just going to move it around like right there. All right. And we're going to make this steady let's increase the speed way up and let's just download this now on cap cut let's pull that new video in so let's grab that so that get the clicks rolling in in this video i'll give you it's rolling in and this zoom in there in this video i'll give you and we'll cut there and now let's get some found sound effects going I'm thinking at the end of this we'll have some mouse clicks in this video in in this and this we got that and then let's grab like a typing effect here under this section let's just see what this looks like secret to crafting irresistible titles that get the clicks rolling in in this video I'll get here we go and guys i'm gonna pause this and keep editing okay so once i have my short completely created now i would move on to creating the long form piece of content that we're going to link to from that youtube short so if you remember when we came up with this earlier, we came up with a video that we were going to link to from our short that was titled The Masterclass on Creating Clickworthy Videos. So what I would want to do, and I have a whole video that talks about how to create scripts with ChatGPT for long form videos, and I'll actually link to that in the description. But next, I would want to create a script for that masterclass long form video. Because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take that short video that we just created, and at the end, we're gonna recommend that they watch our full masterclass. So, you know, imagine my captions here, then at the end, it recommends a video right here. Now, this link right here is gonna go over to a long form video on my channel, and below that video, you're gonna have the title, and you're gonna have the description box. And down here in this description box, we're gonna have what I call a feature section, right? The first couple lines are just gonna talk about what's in this actual video, but that's, then it's gonna say something from our sales page, like revolutionize your YouTube success with elite thumbnails, and then it would say something like, so I would have that headline here in my description, then I would say get the playbook for YouTube creators here, and then I would list out some of my bullet point copy right there within this video description, put a little dash before them, so so they would read like bullet points just like that and then i would have a link down here at the bottom that takes them to the sales page for our elite thumbnails guide which is this page right so they could buy it so if we if i walk through this whole thing we have this youtube short that promotes this longer form video that really gets them excited about who we are and what we do and then in that video at the end we're going to recommend that they check out our elite thumbnail guide and let them know that the link's in the description. Then they come to our description of this video, and we have that feature section with the copy in there, and they click on that link at the bottom that takes them over to the sales page for our elite thumbnails guide, where they can buy it and we get paid. Now the cool thing about this is YouTube has actually added a feature to Shorts where we can actually link out to a longer form video just like this. And we mentioned it in our YouTube Short. So now imagine that you come over here and you create 10 different shorts giving away awesome tips and all of them are promoting this longer form content. And then imagine this, imagine you create another guide like the elite thumbnail guide and you have another sales page over here with another buy button for a different product. And then you follow this same process, right? Create another short and another short and another one and then you create another long form video and all these shorts are promoting this long form video and this long form video and in the description of this video it's promoting this sales page and then once somebody buys any one of your products they go onto your buyer's email list and guess what you can do with that you can refer them from one product to another hey if you liked my elite thumbnails guide then check out my youtube video script guide or my guide on how to monetize a youtube channel right because now you got a buyer's list and this seven dollar sale or ten dollar sale or whatever you charge for this digital product now sells this digital product for ten dollars which then goes 
and they buy another guide here for $10. Maybe eventually you build this up to where you have courses up here for $97. And this $7 buyer that came in here now spends hundreds of dollars with you. And you have an email list full of people that have bought your guides that you can then promote your other future videos to, which in turn grows your YouTube channel. Right, so it becomes this endless cycle of growing your channel and making more and more sales of your digital products.